Hey guys, Andy here. Um, I have what will hopefully be quite an interesting matchup today. On the left is my daily driver, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and on the right, my new Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So the Note 5 is running an Exynos 7420 Octa chipset with uh, quad-core 1.5 GHz Cortex A53 and quad-core 2.1 GHz Cortex A57. It's got a Mali T760 MP8, however you want to pronounce that, um, GPU and 4 GB of RAM. The S7 Edge has the Exynos 8890 Octa chipset, a quad-core 2.3 GHz Mongoose and a quad-core 1.6 GHz Cortex A53. Um, it's got a Mali T880 MP12 GPU and 4 gig of RAM. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't know what a lot of that means, but uh, it'll certainly be an interesting test. Let's kick things off with the Angry Birds opening test. Now, regular viewers will know I choose this app because, uh, well, I mean, mainly because it just it takes some time for it to open. There's obviously doing a lot of read writing, a lot of setting up, a lot of processing. So I think it's a, probably a reasonable real world test. And we see the S7 Edge very, very quick. So the Note 5 normally, in the past, has beat most devices. But, uh, I mean, that, let's be honest, wasn't even close. We'll run it once more, just to be sure. I think pretty quickly we're seeing... There was no fluke by the S7 Edge. It's almost done loading before the Note 5 really even started. There we go, it's into the animation. That's a good uh, resounding victory for the S7 Edge, um, which I won't lie, surprised me a little bit with the Note 5 being uh, being as, as good as it is. So we move on to Geekbench 3, the benchmark test. You can Again, you can see some of the specs there. Um, so having seen what we've just seen, strangely, I did run the S7 Edge in the unboxing. It only scored 4,000 something. But what we've just seen tells me that maybe it's a bit more powerful than that. We're going to jump ahead with, via the magic of editing and the S7 Edge 6,437 and a single core score over 2,000. That's pretty monster. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's see what the Note 5 comes up with. Normally around 5 to 4,930. So, yeah, that's fairly normal. I mean, it's been up above 5,000, but 6,500 by the S7 Edge really is quite impressive. Um, I mean, it, as far as I'm aware, it blows everything else away. We'll see when some of the newer devices come this year. I assume they'll be able to match that, but uh, right now, not particularly close. We're going to test the screen brightness. Now, again, the Note 5 at the moment holds my record for lumens or lux. And we're going to test it here. 8.46. Looks like 8.46, the best over that. 8.71. 8.76, yep, 8.76 twice, so I think quite clearly actually the S7 Edge is the new crowned champion on screen brightness with 8.76, very, very good. Now we're going to move to the speaker, and again, I'm, I'm quite like the Note 5 speaker, I do like my speakers, and the Note 5 does a good job. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do, I'll be right there for you. Again, the S7 Edge, actually pretty impressive. I would probably give the slight edge, no pun intended, to the S7 Edge. Let's try on the spoken voice. Essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. They'll essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. So uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws. And now we're in the situation where... It all 
laws. And now we're in the situation where people are clamoring for the. Oh, we covered the fact that Google and other that Google and other uh, uh, social uh, uh, social network provider network providers and uh, search engine providers. That's possibly one of the closest speaker tests I've had. I really should have got the uh, decibel meter out. Perhaps I think we give the edge to the S7 Edge, but really not much between, especially in a spoken voice. Um, I haven't done the actual speaker test of the S7 Edge just yet, so obviously uh, I'll know the, the actual decibel figures by the time I do the review. It will be interesting to see if it beats the Note 5. The Note 5 is not the loudest device by any means, but does have a good speaker. Um, the S7 Edge also with a very good speaker. Meanwhile, I'm starting, I've cleared the browsing history. We're starting the browse. Wow, that was, that was pretty quick. Um, I'm not even sure which way we're going to call that one. So I'm going to move on to the, the next the next website, being NFL.com. Try and press them at the same time. Oh, you tell me. Well, actually, if we look up at the top there, they're both still technically loading the page, and the S7 Edge did just finish loading quicker. They're both on Wi-Fi. They're both on the same Wi-Fi network, so... In theory, that shouldn't really be a factor. It should just be down to the device's ability to render the web pages. Pre-caching is turned off as well, so that shouldn't affect it. When we go to the final, the Note 5 looks to be a little bit ahead, possibly sneaking it through. But then, again, if we actually look, I don't know if you can see the loading bars, the S7 Edge actually finished loading quicker. But, oh, that's tricky. I mean... If I was wanting to see what was on the website, surely I could see that first on the Note 5, even if the F7, S7 Edge technically finished loading it first. So that's a really tight competition all the way through, but with on the sort of raw power of the S7 Edge on the Angry Birds opening and the, and the benchmarks, you've got to give it to it without doubt, really, actually. So um, I've got to say, I'm, I'm being quite impressed. I didn't think there was so much between the two devices, but uh, the S7 Edge has uh, quite impressed me. Let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously, in the UK, it's a bit harder to get hold of a Note 5, but maybe this makes you feel a little bit better seeing the two devices. They're quite a similar size, um, but the S7 Edge with some pretty impressive performance. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.